Hello folks, I am the Ghost with Knife, aka Jaeger, and today's video is gonna be different. There's no gameplay here, this is straight up just an update on what's going on with the channel, and where we'll be going from here forward. So, as some of you guys know that have uh, watched my videos in the past that are kind of regulars, um, in the past I have just straight up uploaded clips of me playing a game and put it on YouTube as a quote-unquote episode for just general garbage. And while this does count as a video I can post on YouTube, this is not what I have originally imagined my channel to be. You see, uh, a while back, uh, when I started YouTube, what got me into it was Let's Plays and people playing games in general with commentary, and it's something I've wanted to do for a very long time. Now, what I've done so far is just me commentating over games and stuff of various degrees and posting it on YouTube. And that, honestly, as, as much as I'm, I'm going to kind of trash myself here, that doesn't require the most work. You could very easily just kind of play a game, comment, put on a mic, commentate, put it on YouTube. It's what I've been doing. But that's not what I want to do. That's not the kind of content that I want to produce for you guys. I wanted to be able to edit videos as needed for some time. And as some of you guys know, I post directly from my PlayStation. I don't have a computer at the moment. I just, I'm, I'm poor, okay? <laughs> Trying to do what I can to produce content and make somebody's day, which is the entire idea of this channel. Sorry. If you hear me drinking a lot, I'm uh, getting over a bit of a cold or a sinus infection, still trying to figure out what it is. I apologize. But still, I don't want to just sit there and post a clip from a game and then just be done with it. I do want to give you guys some fun content, and I want to be able to post stuff that isn't, that's more than just playing a game with commentary. I want to be able to, to edit it to add my own little intros and stuff, make, make it more interactive, put some actual, put some more effort into it. I'm not saying that this isn't require effort. Admittedly, getting games and footage sometimes takes hours, and maybe I'll get one or two games. It's a little bit frustrating. Up until now, I've been doing quote-unquote sessions where I play games and try to record as much as possible, and I actually have a lot of footage that doesn't get used and just deleted because I don't really think it's that great or I feel like I did something wrong. But now I have discovered by talking to a few friends of mine that there's a way to edit videos directly from PlayStation using this thing called Share Factory. Now what does this mean for you guys? It means you'll be getting actually edited footage and content from me to you and i know some people are like that's just the bare minimum why didn't you do that before again like i said i didn't know this feature existed i didn't even know it was a thing on playstation i thought share factory was something else entirely and uh i've just i've gonna be practicing it for a few videos the next three videos after this one are going to be me experimenting with share factory to see how it works and what i can do with it testing my limits so to speak so um look forward to that because not only does this let me post more than one of these kind of multiplayer games in one video this also means that i can get rid of more videos off of my ps4 so i can keep recording more t content for you guys and upload you guys more content at a faster rate which was a bit of a problem i was having now i know i have some various issues with audio, my jet engine fan on my PlayStation, no matter what I do, won't shut the hell up. Uh, my mic for my headset, which is what I record all my audio with, likes to pick up some of my sharper intakes of breath. I've noticed it. I'm trying to work around it. It's a losing battle so far, but I I'm aware of these things and I'm trying to fix them. But not only does it let me put multiple of these games together, it also lets me um, have more options with some of these Let's Plays. 
As you know right now, I'm in the middle of a Spider-Man Let's Play and an Agatha Knife Let's Play, and begrudgingly, I didn't discover this until after we had beaten uh, Marvel Spider-Man, which, if you're tuning into that Let's Play, I'll be releasing that as I can. Uh, I will be using the old format for the rest of that Let's Play because the way we recorded it, it wouldn't make sense if I had the newer format. I, I'm gonna try to use Share Factory to spice up the videos as much as possible, but again, that series is, is done. I've got it all logged up on my PlayStation. I'd have to get it on YouTube. So uh, don't expect too much regarding that. But from here on out with Let's Plays and videos regarding uh, Dead by Daylight, Predator Hunting Grounds, or whatever kind of multiplayer games I run across, Expect to have me using Share Factory to give you guys the most interesting content that I can, and just kind of a good chunk of content. I will also be recording more of those little stupid action figure shorts that I'm doing, where basically I just do crappy voice lines from my mouth into a phone microphone. I don't know why I said voice lines, that is not correct. Me just saying crap with a camera looking at a toy or a scenery i will be doing those i have fun with those i know some people look at those kind of weird shorts that i do and i'm like why they're fun they're easy and it's different and i don't want to just sit here and constantly do gaming videos for you guys i do eventually want to do recorded things like toy reviews i i like collecting action figures and i'd love to do toy reviews on this channel I know it's kind of a weird thing to do, but I'm a giant nerd, and I want to talk about the things that I like. So, when I get the equipment, expect that, because I will be doing some fun little toy reviews. I know the Villain's Way from Marvel Legends just came out, and I, I've already opened the one that I own out of that wave, but I want to record some reviews of those figures, because it's something different for the channel. I want to be able to provide something that people can enjoy, get my thoughts on, just enjoy my hobbies and put it out there on YouTube. I mean, that's the main reason I wanted to start YouTube, is sharing my hobbies, developing some sort of community. And I'm not saying that I'm, I'm anything that I'm doing now is going to skyrocket my views. I'm not going to turn it into freaking moist critical overnight. I don't expect that. But I do have a few subscribers, and I want to give you guys the most that I can. So... From here on out, there will be a new video format with editing and some effects and me trying and with this in mind, me commentating using this new kind of format. Also, as soon as we get done posting the Marvel, Let the Marvel Spider-Man Let's Play and what I can from the Ag Agatha Knife Let's Play, we will be moving on to the new format for those and another new Let's Play. I actually have three I have in mind that I want to do. But space on my PlayStation is a bit of an issue, so. The next Let's Play that I plan on doing is a small series of Let's Plays using an older game. The uh, the Mega Man X games, because I have the Mega Man Legacy Collection. The Mega Man X Legacy Collection. And I'm a fan of those games. I figured it'd be fun to show off my knowledge and how bad I am at them. While being able to just give some people who love those games... A nice little something neat to watch. I also have Saints Row the Third Remastered, which is another game that's very personal, near and dear to me, that I want to be doing a Let's Play for, uh, for you guys. Which, thanks to the power of SharePlay, or the Share Factory, I can actually edit out all those long-ass loading screens and any other bits that I feel like just need, are excessive and need to be cut out. Um, and after that, I do have a horror let's play for you guys, a blind let's play even, for a game unlike Made of Skur. Uh, I'm aware Made of Skur was not the best game. I got it because I thought it was interesting, and I figured, oh yeah, it's, it's a unique place to start. We're not doing that again. Uh, the next time I want to do a horror game, I'm looking into things that are highly reviewed, so you guys have something to enjoy instead of a mess of a game like Made of Skur. But my actual next blind Let's Play is going to be a very well-known game. A very well-known remake. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of uh, 
Resident Evil 2, but we will be playing through that, and it will be very exciting. Now, just to show you guys a little of what Share Factory can do, allow me to present to you a situation using the power of editing on what I can do now. As you can see, I'm sitting here on the Dead by Daylight killer character screen, about to go over my build, give you guys all the nitty gritty of the details and my thoughts on this and that. But then, or maybe how now, I'm in this jungle pyramid, just taking out the bad guys and trying to accomplish the mission. Clickety clackety, doing the hackities. All right, we have access okay. to the computer. We need, oh, God oh. Damn it, oh. that's Full not good. Gotta, hang on a second, let's take out this guy. Uh oh, they're coming. They're coming! You'll never keep me alive! No one will keep me alive! Or maybe now, how I am activating big mode and attacking the bad guy. Uh oh, get out of there. Whipping my way through the undead and the demons of Diablo to save the world. Like only I can. Whipping my way through everything that moves. Smashing with all of my colossal might. Uh oh, that's why. Wondering why I didn't have that activated. Ripping through phones. On what appears to be heaven. While hell has taken over. As only you can do on this channel and no others. Truly a spectacle, as I turn demons into a game of life. Activating the pylon for more power! And now I am unstoppable! No demon can stop me and my colossal bonking. The bonkening is here. You vile spawn of hell. And now, I'm just a goose. Swimming down a stream with a rose given to me by a very nice individual. Don't ask where I got this. The point is, folks, that it's not just me essentially giving you guys a quote-unquote Twitch clip of games that I played. I can actually edit the, the videos how I want to, add little bits of transitions, cut out bits instead of just sitting there recording something and then something goes wrong in the recording and I can't keep the entire recording or we've got like a three minute long loading screen I gotta, I've got to keep in. It's a small step. For most people, but it's a big step for me in the right direction that I've wanted to go in for quite ever since I started the channel. Now, I know there's going to be some issues regarding my videos. My jet engine fan on my PlayStation, my mic liking to pick up my some of my sharper intakes of breath, which I have caught on to. I just can't figure out exactly how I want to fix it. It seems like a nice spot for that. And other various issues that are showing up. But this is a big step forward for us. And hopefully, I'll have a lot of you guys to stick around for the future of this. Because I want my channel to have plenty of Let's Plays, plenty of fun, plenty of laughs, and plenty more surprises for you guys. With all this said, I'm going to cut it off here. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enjoy myself a nice picnic. Uh, ah, yes, a sandwich that will go nicely with my rose. That is exactly what I require. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of, well, basically my channel update. Hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.